thì cái cửa sổ này nó at the moment. What you saw before was a dish called bang gong. So basically bang gong is pretty much like a Vietnamese sausage wrapped in rice noodles. It's kind of similar to 
the uh, Cantonese cheng fan with the prawn wrapped in the rice noodles. You have that with a bunch of vegetables and you um, drizzle on uh, fish sauce. So right now you're probably wondering why I got I got this K-pop vibe with my hair looking pretty pretty scuffed. Is my hair is getting really really long. What the plan for is today is I'm actually gonna get a haircut first. I'm gonna go to a couple of sneaker spots. Not like not like the fake ones that you see in like the Benta markets or or Saigon Square. And yeah, it should be really fun. Eventually, walking for quite some time because the thing is right the. But the place that I'm getting my hair cut is a couple of kilometers away. So what happened was is that my family and I got into a taxi. We knew something was not right because this taxi driver was like grunting, grunting and muttering like hell. And yeah, so my dad showed him, showed the taxi driver the map. The guy was fine, initially fine with it, and then he started he started cursing out of nowhere. In Vietnam, it's like busy as hell. There's like motorbikes everywhere. There's like cars. That's even motorbikes. The so, taxi driver was actually beginning to curse my dad, saying like we had to go on this road. Like the the, the traffic is like busy as hell. But this is what Vietnam life is like. People people just aren't nice. Like you kind of have to assert. I wouldn't say assert your dominance, but assert your ground. Like you got you got you got to like you know. You have to fight back here and there. Usually at Australian barbers they would charge you around 30 or 40 dollars but this place actually charged us 10 dollars. So right now we just left a cab and we're going to this, this really hyped sneaker store. Um, you're, probably, you're probably wondering, oh but like doesn't Vietnam sell a shit ton of like fake stuff? Even, even so they have a lot of hole in the wall spots that actually acts as actual consignment stores that provide authentic Sneakers like Jordan Yeezys and all that. Yeah, it should be should be fun. Thank you. 